Hello everyone, welcome back to Out of Spec Guide. I'm Max, and today I wanna to talk about some exciting news, but also a big disclaimer for many of you shopping electric cars. Hyundai is the latest brand in the US to announce compatibility with Tesla superchargers coming in the form of an adapter next year, and as of quarter four next year, vehicles that natively have the Tesla port built in and will be able to plug in the Tesla superchargers uh, without the need of an adapter. That's very exciting news. They're one of many brands now to announce that. GM, Rivian, Polestar, Volvo, Ford, so many major brands have. There's a few holdouts still like BMW and Stellantis and Toyota, but most of the major brands have. It seems inevitable in the US. That's all exciting. This video is not a rehash of that news. You've probably uh, heard of it in other places now, or you could easily read up about it. I don't wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about something that's overlooked in a lot of media about electric cars, and that I think Hyundai uh, and correspondingly their brands Kia and Genesis, which they own, need to badly figure out for the sake of their customers. And if you are a customer considering one of their vehicles, I have a solution for you for this problem, but we have to talk about this problem. Uh, so, right, they've added Tesla charging, that's great, or they're going to, but if you're using superchargers or any kind of fast chargers, you're probably thinking about road trips. And if you're thinking about road trips, you probably want a route planner. And an electric car route planner isn't as simple as like, uh, you know, what you see with Waze and Apple Maps and Google Maps and your cars right now, your built-in navigation. Uh, it has to automatically add charging stops. It has to potentially precondition the battery. There's a lot of things it has to do. Uh, and right now, I don't think they have a great system for this. They have a route planner, but it's not great. So if you're test driving a Hyundai, Kia, or Genesis vehicle like the EV6, the Genesis GV60, Hyundai Ionic 5, Ionic 6, this is something you have to consider and I'd recommend using the system. It's not good. But anyhow, in this video, I'll describe what it's missing and the systems that you can use if you do want to get one of these vehicles uh, to uh, have a better route planning experience. Because in so many other regards, vehicles like the Ionic 5, the GV60, and the EV6 are so solid. I mean, they have very rapid charging performance on the right chargers. Uh, they are just great electric cars to own. Uh, their interiors are decent. I think they look all really sharp and they have cool styling. There's so much going for them, uh, but they're missing this crucial area. And if you're an owner or a potential customer of one of these vehicles who's further motivated by this news of Tesla compatibility, here's one way you can make your life a lot easier for road trips with these cars. So stay tuned after the intro, I'll join you and explain all about it. Okay, so currently there is a form of basic route planning that Hyundai has. If your vehicle doesn't have it yet, you can get it updated at a dealer. Currently, the Ionic 6 is the only vehicle Hyundai sells that has over the air updates. So the rest of them, you do have to have a dealer update this. So if you have a car that you bought before May of this year, or you bought a used car, uh, you may need to do this. But there is a built-in EV route planner. Unfortunately, it's just not very good. I haven't used it extensively, but I've heard numerous complaints from people on forums and owners groups that this system is just a little awkward. It will route you to chargers that are slow, like slower, what we call level two chargers you absolutely don't want to use on a road trip. Uh, it is just kind of clunky to figure out. I don't like the software and responsiveness in their vehicles particularly. Uh, and so the software update, the have route planning is better than nothing, but it's not great. Now this might get better. The Kia EV9, a vehicle which I had the privilege to actually look at in person in a studio a few months ago, is gonna be the first of the Hyundai Motor Group uh, cars to have a new software experience. So they're updating this and it's gonna be better. I haven't used the system and I can't say how much better it is. If past history is anything to go off of, there's a lot to improve and I'm not sure that their new software interface is gonna fix everything, but it will be better in the Kia EV9, which is yet to come out, uh, but their future vehicles will be great. However, their vehicles already now, the Ionic 5, the EV6, the GV60 performance are great, uh, but they can't be fixed to the extent of having a brand new, you know, set of screens and software. And there's many of you who already have those or want those vehicles. So the benchmark in this industry is Tesla for route planning, uh, because they will precondition the battery automatically, meaning you get the best charge speed for the next charger you're going to. They add those chargers in the first place automatically for you. When you tell the car where you're going, it's gonna figure out which chargers you need to stop at, at which battery you'll be at when you stop at them, how long to stop there. It really it takes care of you in terms of you know making uh, a road trip in an electric car, which can be hard without the aid of one of these tools, much easier. 
Rivian also has a great system. Uh, as of this summer, they've integrated it into their vehicles, and all their vehicles, of course, can be updated over the air uh, because they're a modern brand who gets technology really well. They, that's because they bought a company called a better route planner. And here's where I get into my solutions. Um, so Tesla and Rivian are great, right? But you want a Kia, Hyundai, or a Genesis vehicle, you're attracted by them for one reason or another. I totally get it. There's a lot of good things going for them. Consider a better route planner. Uh, it is what Rivian bought to make their system so good, but it's still operational for EV drivers of all kinds. You, better route planner is an app and a website where you tell it your vehicle, you tell it your trip, and it'll plan your trip for you. It'll tell you which stops to go to. So let's say I have an Ionic 5. I'm going to type that in here. It's a Hyundai vehicle, Ionic 5, uh, and I have the 23 model year uh, long range all wheel drive, right? You tell it that it's modeled out most of these vehicles. You tell it the battery you're going to start with. And then at a very basic level, let's say I'm starting from Boulder, Colorado, and I want to go uh, somewhere else. I want to go to Las Vegas, right? Uh, I would tell it that, and then I press this, and that's it's the crow flies, that blue line, but it's going to basically give me a full route. If you want a full tutorial on a better route planner, I made a video on, on this channel several months ago with all that information. I'll put that in the info card, but basically I'm just showing you what a better route planner does. Uh, so it lives on a website. You can use it for free. However, if you want to use it in your vehicle, and I imagine you do if you're road tripping, then you're going to want to do a few things. You'll need to subscribe to a better route planner to be able to use it in your car in real time, uh, which is $5 a month, in my opinion, well worth it. I will link a better route planner. Uh, and then you will need what's called an OBD dongle. It's basically a thing that plugs into your vehicle and it uh, adapts the information that your vehicle is sending about its you know, battery charge and all kinds of things to a Bluetooth connection that connects to your phone, and then a better route planner on your phone can tell your vehicle's battery status in real time. This is useful because it can help it you know, make adjustments on the fly, tell you what battery you're gonna arrive at, uh, your next station, all of that. The live data is super helpful. So I'm gonna link this, but basically they have a guide telling you which OBD readers you could buy safely uh, and how to use them with the app. It's a little bit of a nerdy process. It requires some setup, but if you have an Ionic 5, EV6, GV60, this is one of the best ways to get much better built-in route planning. And so that is an option, a better route planner. It's there. Um, it's really, you know, it's, I'm, I'm so glad that Rivian is still letting other brands use the generic form of it. And they still seem to be updating the app here and there uh, with improvements. It's not a great long-term solution. Who knows if Rivian's going to decide to keep it running um, for everyone. Uh, and of course, you know, I think it's on Kia and Hyundai to improve their software. But for now, for you owners, it's a great solution. Before I close this video, I'll talk about some other potential solutions that are good um, that aren't complete, but uh, do fill in some gaps. So if you use Apple Maps on your phone, as of iOS 17, the latest update, it will tell you real-time status of chargers. This is really important, right? Because we've talked about automatically adding the chargers that you need on your trip, uh, and then preconditioning your battery in your vehicle for them. The phone apps can't really do that. A better route planner, unfortunately, can't do that uh, the, with the battery preconditioning. But at the very least, they can tell you the status of the chargers you're going to arrive at. Are they online? How many of them are online? How many of the stations and all that? Apple Maps will finally do that. So if I look at Electrify America and Apple Maps, it'll tell me how many stalls there are that are available. Similar story in Google Maps. It's done this for a while now. Um, so you can look at that in those phone apps and on the web as well. Uh, you can see the total you know, uh, available stations and if they're online or not. It looks like Google Maps on the web is not showing me whether they're online or not. It's just showing me the total amount of uh, stations that are theoretically functional. Uh, but that is there. So just to, just to let you know if you're, you know, considering local spots near you and it's not a road trip and you're just looking station by station basis, you don't necessarily need a route planner. You can now use Google and Apple Maps to at least give you status of chargers. Um, Apple Maps with the real time status on phones is super helpful. Apple Maps has a full routing solution, but it only works with two vehicles right now, the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Porsche Taycan. Um, it's great that it works with them. I'd love to try it with one of those vehicles, but they have yet to kind of expand it to more vehicles. There's obviously a lot of work on integrating it that they need to do. Um, so these are the solutions we have now. Again, they're not perfect because in the long term to enable things like preconditioning, which by the way, works with Hyundai's route planner, you have to enable it in their settings. We've made a video on this channel about that, that I'll put in the info card that you can check out. If you're driving in winter, absolutely 
I highly recommend doing that to check out that video so you can turn on preconditioning. Uh, and yeah, at that point, you're stuck with the system because you want to use it so that your car knows to precondition and warm the battery so you get a good charge speed at your next station. But if it's summer or if you live in somewhere with a warmer climate, as I'm filming this now, of course, it's getting colder in a lot of places. But if it's still warm where you live, then yeah, these options like a better route planner are there and having real-time charger status in the phone apps you probably already use is at least something. So that's my, you know, kind of best uh, attempt at salvaging some solutions from this situation, but I just wanted to call attention to this as an issue. If you're shopping for these vehicles, keep it in mind. Uh, and if it's a potential deal breaker for you, if road trips are a frequent concern for you, they're not for everyone. If they're not, then none of this really matters that much. But if it does matter to you, I highly advise playing with the software, trying the EV route planning when you're test driving one of these cars, be it a Hyundai Ioniq 5, a Ioniq 6, a Kia EV6, you know, so on. Uh, test this out and try it. If you have questions, let us know in the comments. That's what we're here for at a spec guide. Hopefully this video has been a helpful kind of uh, explanation of the situation with the route planning, why it's important, and why I think this brand in particular, Hyundai, and their uh, associated brands, Kia and Genesis, need to do a much better job of this in the future. Uh, great third on Tesla. I'm glad that the Tesla supercharging network is opening up with partnerships to more automakers uh, and that they're going to have the Tesla port baked in. But the software piece needs to be figured out because it's so important for road trips. Anyhow, I've been Max with that Aspect Guide, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.